what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to share my personal process and experience with private labeling so in this video i'm going to show you guys three different ways to private label so let's go ahead and jump right into the video some people have their own mixed feelings emotions and opinions on private labeling and some of y'all might ask why invest in private labeling when the labels already come on the clothes now, in my experience, the reason why I private labeled was one, for branding, image, and overall um, experience for my customers, as well as protecting the products that I bought. On the branding scope, I wanted to create a customer experience where they felt like they were getting something personalized. I have my clothing line, and this is how things used to come. Um, I'm really big into the overall image of things, and I feel like this just leaves a bigger impression on your customers. So my private labeling, as you can see, is here. The tags are here, and then I had my own personal hang tags. I just like the fact that my branding and a piece of me was going on the clothing. Now, for some of you guys, that might seem like something insignificant, but if you want a lot of value for your dollar, you have to also think of how long is this person gonna have this item? How, how many people are they gonna be in front of when they have this item on? Now, I'm sure all of us have been in that situation where you wear something real cute, you're around your friends, and someone's like, ooh, girl, where did you get that? And you're like, I have no idea if I'm, I forgot. The first thing that you do if you're not trying to hate and keep your cute stuff away from your friends is you're gonna go to your tag and see where you got it from. So right there, you're already putting money back into your pocket because it's, in a sense, free marketing and say somebody found your items or your product or your store based on a referral and they didn't really remember your brand maybe it was a gift from somebody so they never even shopped your store to begin with and they look at the tag and they're reminded where they bought the product and they're able to shop again so overall if you don't see the value in private labeling for the branding and the aesthetic purposes and you're just in it for marketing and money and financial gain purposes it's a great addition to add to your brand for um, consistent marketing after the product has already sold Option one of private labeling is doing every single thing in-house. So let's take a look inside the store. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank What's you. your name? Kent. Kent? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How long have you guys uh, been in the five, five months. Five months. Okay. Yeah, we are new here. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you, um, where are the stores, or where is the clothes made? Clothes made. Where do you, do you make in LA or you make overseas? China. China. Okay. Yes. And these oh, tops is so cute, yes, so good, so like sexy. It. Yeah. My wife wore it today. This one. This one. I this like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. You can show this one. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Okay. And is this one the set? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. And the fabric on this is good. You can see the stitching. It's really high quality. Yeah. You have a nice um, label here. And then the inside stitching is really nice. Now, do you guys offer private labeling here? Of course. You guys offer of private course. labeling? Special cutter even. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if I wanted to buy, what's the minimum order for private labeling? Um, 60, 60, 120, okay. depend. Okay. Yeah. And then would you have label here or private label in China? China. China. Okay. Because I have a factory in China. Okay. Yeah. And do I? What do I need to give you to private label? Do Just I need to give, give to here? No, no. I'm saying, do I need to send you guys the file um, of my logo? Oh, you need. I do the label for you. Oh, you do everything. You, we do the everything. Okay. You just gave me the design, hide and. Okay. What kind of file do you need? Do you need like PNG? PDF or P PDF? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Could do. So you do everything. Yeah. So I can yeah. just buy and. Because we have, uh, we have our spender can do this. Okay. Part. Okay. Option number two, we're gonna take an inside look of Glamazon LA. Now this requires two different companies. So what you would do is you would create and design your labels on your own, and then you would take whatever quantity you're buying, and their minimum is 120, and take it to the store. You would then buy your items wholesale from them. You would give them the labels, the hang tags, and then they would personally attach the labels to their clothes as well as the hang tags. And then you would receive the items packed up separately like this and you're ready to sell. Let's take an inside look of Glamazon LA. Okay. Private labeling. So did your guys' store allow private labeling for yes. small wholesalers? Um, 
Well, we actually do it for large schools. So just any company who's interested in like working with us will do. Um, What's like the minimum, or is it more like well, relationship based? Well, our minimum order is 120 for so private labeling. Like, yeah, private labeling. Like, well, uh, one of our really big customers, me, and like a uh, minimum for her would be 120. Um, the most that well, back in the day, she used to shop for us a lot, and we used to do like orders of, like thousand, two thousand pieces, you know. But now it's like she'll order one specific style, it'll be like 120. She'll send up her like hang tags, her labels, and we'll just fill it all up, send it over to her way, and that's just kind of how we work with that. Wait, we are also um, lucky enough to like be able to. Um, we actually produce our own clothing here in downtown, which is uh, one of the reasons why our quality here is so good. Specifically, is because we have like the ability to like all of our um, uh, fabrics we get from here. All of uh, our production is here. Like we work with local um, production companies. We work like all of our seamstresses, our um, designers, our team. Like my parents actually own this company, so like I tell you because I'm like in the You're in background. The mix. Yeah. I'm in there. Um, and that's how we uh, work here, which is um, our stuff is a little bit pricier than a lot of the uh, stuff you'll find in downtown, but we the are known for our quality and for our customer service and okay. everything. So, so coming to private labeling, so you yeah. do you guys create the labels too, if um, needed, or do we send the labels to no. you? So with most companies, like you, we, I doubt that there's any, like maybe there is, but most mostly like um, your private label will be like sent to us. If okay. you're local, like obviously like me, we can do a pickup but um no no i mean like yeah. say for example do i do i make the tags myself and give them to you yes okay yes um and i'm sure there's like a lot of there's a lot of places you could i private label with, myself. yeah private labeling um and hang Luther tags too will you guys companies. do hang tags yeah we'll do everything um we prepare the whole order to be sent your way okay everything. now as far as the private labeling and hang tags yeah um all i have to do is have the files get them done somewhere else come in or ship them to you and then they will go on the clothing in a bulk order of like 120 or whatever and then they get sent out to me yeah okay. so you would just send me 120 if you're getting 120 pieces you send me 120 labels maybe a little bit more just in case like one of them is like damaged or something okay. and then we um so on the the labels uh put in the hang tags wrap it all up send it your way okay and then everything else is up to you the third and final option is the option that I took. This option worked best for me because one, um, short term, it was the cheapest. Two, I wasn't selling high volume, so I didn't meet the minimum requirement of the other stores. And three, I was able to buy from any and everyone in downtown and buy from different manufacturers, gather all the merchandise, and then go to a third party and have the actual um, label sewn on. So let's go ahead and take a look at option three and creating the labels in a private store. Um, I'm buying stuff wholesale mm -hmm. and I want to get labels made for mm -hmm. private labeling. Mm -hmm. um, so what is the first step in getting labels made and what kind of labels do you guys have? Okay, we have two types. Well, actually we have three types. Um, we have printed. Okay. This is printed on satin. We have um, the woven the woven samples that's really soft. If you touch the material, it's really soft. So it's not itchy at all. Okay. Um, you feel it it feels really really smooth okay um and the twirl this is for like organic clothes people now that are making um like vegan stuff organic cotton eco for babies eco yeah eco-friendly you can use twirl okay so it's really smooth you can choose whatever um material you like okay um we give you guys uh the option um to choose um we do require a uh, a uh, a PDF file that okay. uh, you go with the graphic designer okay. and create your own logo. Okay. You custom make your logo. Uh, you send it to us on email, um, and uh, we get to work. For printed, it's uh, a thousand pieces okay. for a hundred and forty. Okay. On this one, we don't give physical samples. Okay. Only on the woman. Okay. Okay. And it takes about two weeks to get it made. Okay. Uh, woven, it's a minimum of 3,000 pieces. Okay. Uh, it's $90 for each thousand. Okay, so it's $90 to get a thousand made. Not a thousand made. Okay. But it's a minimum of 3,000 pieces for the woven. For woven. For woven. So 3,000 minimum. Minimum. So $90 times three. Three is like 270. Okay, 270. Uh -huh. On the woven, it's two weeks for sample physical sample okay you come you approve it if you like it 
uh, we go uh, to production. If you want to make changes, you can make small changes. Okay. Small changes. In another, another two weeks. Okay. And on twelve, it's minimum of uh, one thousand pieces. One thousand. Okay. You said you need a graphic designer. Yes. If you're not a graphic designer and you're just starting out, is it something easy to make online by yourself? Um, I can't. You there's a uh, a website you can do it. Okay. Um, I don't have the website with me, but I know there is. You okay. can also do it by yourself. Um, or we can help you uh, if it's yeah. something just simple letters. We can help you here uh, with the person that takes care of the of the labels. Okay, um, and these are the different types. Do you have something smaller for something like clothes? For yes, clothes? yes. So we have something you can custom make it. So when okay. this is, you can custom make it. I'm just giving you examples because people that's the way people um, like. But you can custom make it. We have this small. Uh, we did you guys do Nipsey stuff? Yes, we did. We did the marathon closing um, labels here. Really? Yes, we do. We, we did his labels here. Wow. And we're still doing his labels. Wow. So like he said, the marathon continues. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, you said something small. Something like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. Something small. We can do different colors. Okay. We have thousands of colors. Um, thousands of colors. Okay. You know, and thousands of size. We also have the text. Okay, so the hang you guys also do hang tags. Hang tags, yes. Okay, yes, yes. we have different sizes. Now getting into pricing, mm -hmm. um, and like my my image. So I just made this made an image on Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Do you guys take files from Photoshop? Although we require a higher uh, file, so it's a PDF file. A PDF. A PDF. Yes. Okay, yeah. I have a PDF. So what I did is I actually had a graphic designer or like a friend, like a college friend, yeah. create my file on Photoshop, uh -huh. but she saved it as a PDF. PDF, yeah. PDF will work better because when you send it to us, uh, the guy who takes care of the label that's in the back, um, he puts it in the computer, so he um, custom makes it like the size you want, okay. and it's easier for him to work. Okay. And send it to our factory. Okay, so something like this um, is super simple. Mm -hmm. but, like this. This is a of Photoshop, Photoshop, Photoshop PDF. Yeah, PDF. Okay, so so that will work on a PDF. So uh, we do also also require a fifty dollar minimum deposit. Okay. Those fifty dollars go towards your order. Okay. So um. So you're not losing anything. No, you know, basically you're not losing anything. You're okay. not losing anything that goes towards your order. So if somebody is in like Miami or New York and they want to start a clothing store and they want labels, how do they go about getting okay, labels? Okay, we have our website, it's www.us3a.com. Okay. Um, you can also call us. Okay. Um, and we can work everything by email. Okay. By email. Yeah, we have our website. And um, say like, if they're gonna order samples, woven samples, they're not gonna fly over here. We uh, ship them out to them. Okay, now if somebody doesn't know what labels actually feel like or look like do you guys send we like can little send on samples so okay. if say someone in miami is like oh you know what i would recommend it to you guys um we want to make uh, labels so we tell they don't know what to do like how to start we send them samples of woven printed and satin and we also send them hand tags we send it to them okay and then they okay they choose it um they email us back or they call us we, we either or you know okay yes so there's a lot of options yeah okay show y'all how to make a quick little label this is going to be the actual design that you send the companies so that they can actually custom order and custom create your label now this is something that i did myself because i was on a budget and i didn't have the bread to outsource now there is a actual website that i haven't used personally for labels but i've used for other things it's called fiverr you guys probably seen like the um the youtube ads for it but it's actually a site full of freelancers that will design whatever you want them to do and you can get logos or designs as low as like five dollars um, and you can also make edits i've used fiverr probably two or three times to create logos for some of the other stores that i've had and i've paid anywhere from like 25 to 45 dollars to custom make a logo i wasn't using them for tags but i used them for websites and things like that Photoshop comes with stock fonts that you can use for free. Now, if you have a different font that you want to use and you have an idea of what that looks like, you can search for different fonts online, but you do have to make sure that the fonts are free to use for resale purposes because this is something that you're going to be putting on something that you are going to be selling. Selling. So because I'm just making this up off the top of my head because this is for y'all, like a super quick example. But since we're talking about bossing up, 
and I'm sharing my story. We gonna, we gonna be booked and busy. I like this font, it's like a Barbie font. And then I'm going to use a different font for the money sign. I'm probably gonna make that a little bit smaller in size so that it blends well. And then you see how this is kind of like separated. You would then go to characters. It's probably right now, it's like a, mm, probably closer than that. Let's do 500. And then I wanna actually put that to the side a little bit. And I don't want the hand to be in Barbie font. I actually just want it to be the symbol. So I'm then going to use a different text box and type an and symbol and then change the size of that. Turn it to the side for a little bit of swag. And then there you go. It's actually super quick, super easy to do something if you did want something basic in a font that you can find online. Obviously, if this is your clothing line, this is your logo and you wanna spend more time and effort, you can do that. But if you're trying to save some coin, if you want something quick and something easy and you like a font that's online, it's actually very simple to do. Yeah, and this was stuff that I am all self-taught in. I did not go to school for this. So you just honestly have to use YouTube to your benefit and really learn and be patient. And then after you have that, what you're gonna wanna do is save it and you wanna save it as a PDF. So then after you save it on your desktop, I personally like AirDrop because it's quick and easy and I feel like the quality is just, it just is faster. So then you're gonna wanna just turn on your AirDrop on your computer and then once you open up your phone, it will pop up and you have the PDF now on your phone. And now you can just take it to the store or you can email it if you're not in the same area and then they have the PDF file and your label file is completely done. So on my second point and why I think private labeling is a good idea is because it allows you to keep where you buy your clothes a little bit more private. So for example, I'm sure all of you guys at one point have shopped from a boutique, an Instagram boutique, an in-store boutique or whatever. So this item is actually a wholesale item. How do I know that? Because the tag on this clothes, on this item says TikTok. TikTok is actually a big wholesaler in downtown LA. So if I was somebody who was trying to be and trying to come up off of somebody else's items, um, I could be real shady, buy a whole bunch of things from their site that I think are cute. Once I receive the items, I can just look at the tag and then I myself can just go to downtown LA, purchase the items, and I could be a competitor of that company. Now, surprisingly, a lot of people do this because one, they're either, either very lazy to go outsource their own clothes, or two, they don't have the luxury of being in downtown LA, so they don't know where to get the cute items. So what they do is they shop on other boutique sites who probably don't private label their items. They order, they see where they shop, they shop their stuff, and then that's how a lot of people end up getting the same things. Um, granted, a lot of people get the same things too because if a store is popping, the store is popping. But if you are wanting to protect yourself and be a little bit more private of where you get your items, private labeling is the way to go. So I guess you have pros and cons for private labeling for people are, who are in it for money and people who are in it for branding. If you're in it for both, obviously it's better. But if you're thinking, oh, I don't really care about branding, branding isn't a big deal, but keeping your items a little bit more secretive is a big deal, then obviously private labeling is something that you're gonna wanna invest in. Next, if you are doing everything yourself, there are a few things that you might need, and I will show you what those are. So for me personally, I went and bought a garment tag gun or a tagging gun, and you can find this on Amazon. I will go ahead and link all of that information below. The next thing that you're gonna need, because there was a time where I couldn't afford to outsource to a tailor or to the company that did my labels. I had a handy dandy seam ripper and a thread in a needle and I used to do it myself. Um, another thing that I had for branding, branding purposes is I also had stickers because I would like to put my stuff in um, tissue paper, wrap it up, and then put the sticker on top because it's an extra piece of branding and it also actually looks really good. So those are a few tools that you might need if you are doing everything yourself. Um, if you are not doing everything yourself and you have the money or the leverage to outsource, then obviously outsourcing is best because that gives you more time to market, to focus on your Instagram feed, um, customer service, and all of those things. But I think that basically concludes today's video. If you guys have any questions, need any more help, any um, if you guys have any more video ideas that you want me to go more in depth of, but thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next upload. Bisous!